Hello everybody and welcome to Hashtag Active for Life, our quality physical education show where we get to get a better understanding of education in movement, education about movement and education through movement. I'm your host Norman Mpake and together we're going to learn about the importance of physical education but most importantly we're going to have fun. We're going to talk about some basic concepts on the subject of physical education and get you to do some activities with us. But before that, I'd like us to, to review some of the content that we covered in the previous episodes so that it starts making sense when we combine those concepts with the topic of today. If you remember, we had already started speaking about the fundamental movement skills and under the skill themes in the movement analysis framework. If you remember the movement analysis framework or what we, what we call the, the physical education wheel, in the middle you had found the fundamental movement skills which are the locomotor skills, the manipulative skills, and the non-manipulative and non-locomotor skills. And we spoke about how all your physical activities have components of, of each and every or some of these fundamental movement skills. But when you have more complex activities, you'll start seeing how these interplay and display themselves. So we're then going to show how when we combine these patterns of movement skills, that they start showing them in the more complex and specific activities that you're going to look at, um, like specific games or specific sporting activities. And so it is important that you start understanding the context of how these interplay with each other. But it's important that you start realizing that there is a direct relationship between fitness, games, and sports that you start to understand why we went into details about the components of fitness where it was the health related fitness and to the skills related fitness components and how when you enhanced one it helped you develop two and so it was important that you started realizing the interdependency of the health related fitness components and the skill related fitness components and how the skill related components uh, fitness components were directly linked to performance and your performance in games and sporting activities. So you now you realize why you start seeing the link between the concepts and how they relate to the activities that you're doing. If you look at the definition of physical fitness, it reads that physical fitness is a state of health and well-being and the ability to perform and take part in a variety of physical activities and those physical activities could be games and or sporting activities. So it is important that you start realizing that the importance of enhancing your physical fitness is going to have a direct impact on how you enjoy and participate in different games and activities, whether they are sports specific or they are just modified sporting activities that allow you to enhance specific motor or fine motor skills or gross motor skills. And so it's those kind of things that we're starting to speak about. So if you look at games and modified sports offer fun and developmentally appropriate activities. Remember how I like to, for us to always look at developmentally appropriate activities. It's because your curriculum that you are being taught is developmentally appropriate. It's written in a developmentally appropriate manner in order to make sure that it suits your age, your developmental stage, your skill level, and your interests as a learner. So it is it's designed in that way. So when you do these games, you are able to develop your physical fitness. You see, again, by playing these games, you develop your physical fitness. By developing your physical fitness, you are able to play in more games. And when you do your fitness, your physical fitness activities and your games, you are able to then be exposed to a variety of sporting activities. So there's an interdependency between fitness, games, and sports. And it's important that you understand these. And then we start looking at the different games that you're going to participate. And you start realizing when we spoke about target games, we spoke about uh, net um, and, and war games, we, we then had clear details of those particular target games and net war games. But I also want you to understand how there's a relationship between all these particular uh, types of games and how they get to a point where you start seeing that there's an interdependency in the relationship between these particular games. And sometimes when you're so talking about a target game, you could be speaking about a particular uh, uh, um, a game that, that is a sport, classified as a sport. So sometimes a target game like that is considered a sport. Um, and so th those are the kind of things, the net, the, net ball, the net or war games are also those kind of things that I want you to understand when you're hitting over or throwing over or 
or, or, or propelling things over there. So it's those kind of things that you need you to understand that there's an interdependence between games, sports and fitness activities that you're going to do. And if you start looking at your striking and fielding games, the definition reads striking and fielding games in which the learner scores points. You score points by striking an object. Right, remember the definition of what those are? Those are manipulative skills, striking an object and manipulative skill. If you look at the movement the analysis framework. So it is placed away from defenders. So again, we have a word called defenders and other times we spoke about opponents. So you start seeing that these words are changed depending on the context, but they actually mean similar or the same things. In the field and runs to a designated area. So in order to score your point, you would have to strike an object, and once you've struck that object, you have to run. So the combination of um, manipulative skills and locomotive skills is displayed. Now you start seeing why I said at times you're participating in some type of activity, and that activity allows you to display the different types of, 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 of fundamental movement skills. So when you're striking and, 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 and you're running, and therefore you're able to score because you've combined those particular skills and becomes a more complex activity, and you're doing striking field and games, and those striking field and games could be a cricket, it could be baseball, it could be softball as a sport a, a type of activity that you are doing in order to express those types of uh, striking and fielding games. But at the same time, it could be simple games that you are doing within your classroom that are modifications of other more complex activities in order to give you the opportunity to enhance your striking abilities and your fielding ability. So when you're fielding, the fielding part is where you're starting to defend because you're fielding the object that has been struck by your opponent and your opponent is trying to score by striking and therefore you as a defender have to field in order to prevent them from making those runs that give them the points as they score. But let's move over to teacher Sahil so he can show us examples of striking or fielding games. Over to you Sahil. Hi guys, welcome to our striking and fielding exercise session today. Guys, today is going to be super fun and exciting. Uh, the setup for today is we're going to do a few fielding exercises and drills. And then lastly, we're going to play a fun game. Let's see what it is. The first exercise for today's episode, guys, is fielding. All right, so we're going to do some ground fielding, some medium catch fielding, and then some high catch fielding. Okay, so I've got some of my recruits here, they're going, my superstars, they're going to demonstrate how to catch, throw, and field the ball. Let's get started. So guys, um, Rex, Nikash, and Masinda, please get onto that uh, first white cone, right? And guys, we are about maybe five to seven meters away, right? This is a, a very nice warm-up fielding exercise that you can do, all right? Are you ready, Rex? Okay, the whole goal here is, remember when the ball comes to you, we need to attack the ball. Like in the previous episodes, we taught you how to pick up the ball in a good position. So your lead foot, the other foot must be to the ball. And then the back foot needs to be behind the ball. All right, just in case if you do miss the ball, the ball can hit your foot. We pick it up, falcon position, and then we throw. Okay, guys, let's go. Attack the ball, yes, and then we throw, good. Let's go, attack the ball, attack it, good, and throw over the stumps, good. Masinda, let's go, attack it, well done, and over, yes, good. Okay, guys, that was a good effort, all right, but remember our throwing position, we attack it and throw. Okay, I want those throws to be a little bit flatter, let's go, attack it, flatter, good. Let's go, Nikosh. Yes, flatter. Yeah, well done. Let's go, Masinda. Yes, throw. Yeah, that's a great throw. One more round. That's okay, that's okay. That's okay, Rex, you can go behind. Let's go. Attack it. Remember our body position, guys. We always remember the body position. If we are attacking the ball like this and we miss it, it'll go through our legs. Side on position. All right. Masinda, let's go. Side on. Very good. 
Yes, well done. So guys, now we're going to change it up. If you all can go to the next cone behind you. I'm just going to hit you some very basic catches, right? Masinda, do you remember the catching techniques? How many do we have? Two, well done. Can you show me the one? Yes, so thumbs together, guys. If the ball is high or above your chest, we catch it with our thumbs pointing together. And what's the other one, Masinda? Pinkies together, well done, okay. Let's go, Nikash, you ready? And let's go. Let's go, Rex. That was a very bad hit from me, let's go. Let's go, Masinda, hands together. Yes, good stop. Let's throw it in. Let's throw it in. Well done. I'll hit it a little bit harder. Yes, in. Well done. Let's go, Rex. Yeah. And guys, judge the ball distance, right? We don't have to attack it as soon as I'm hitting the ball. Let the ball be hit and then you can judge whether to run in or not. Let's go, Masinda. Oh, good effort. One more round. One more round, guys. Ready, Nikash? That's okay. Leave it. Rex, let's go. Your turn. Yes. Let's go. Good. Well done. Masinda, let's go. All right, I want one more round, guys. We need, let's try and get one catch as a team. Okay, one catch. Let's go, let's go. Do we got two more chances to catch one ball? Let's go. Rex, let's go. Yeah, well done. Masinda, let's see if we can make it two out of two. Oh, unlucky. Well done. Okay, guys, the last fielding exercise is high catches. Okay, so I want Nikash to go on that cone and Masinda to stay on that cone behind Rex. Okay, so you guys just alternate. Rex, you start. And then she can go after you, okay? All right, guys, so all I'm doing is I'm going to hit the ball up in the air. All right, this is high catches. And you guys need to shout. If the ball is closer to Rex, Rex, you need to shout, it's your ball. All right, so we need good communication skills here. Right, and vice versa, if it's closer to Nikash, he needs to say it's his ball. Ready? Okay, let's go. Well done, over the top. Now swap with Masinda. That's Masinda. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, well done. Very good. Nikash, you're going again with Masinda. Masinda, get your hands up. Oh, yes, good try. Well done. Guys, always remember, we need to try catch the ball in line with our chest or just above our chest, right? So it's in line with our eyes. If we catch it lower, then we don't have control of the ball. Okay, let's go again. Rex, your turn. Yeah, well done. You made it look too easy. Well done. Let's go. Yeah, well done. Let's go two more rounds. Ah, <laughs> good try. Remember to always keep those hands close together. Good. Rex, your turn. Yeah, well done. Last one. I'm going to test you guys now. <laughs> good job. Well done, everyone. Good job. Thanks, Rex. Thanks, Nikash. Thanks, Masinda. Very good job. So, guys, that's our fielding drills. All right, remember you can do it mainly at school because you need some space. Uh, but that was very, very well done from all three superstars. The last fielding exercise or drill for the day, guys, is a team fielding drill. This is very fun. You can do it with a, a, a group of maybe three, minimum of three, and you can go up to six, seven, eight. 
All right, so let's start. I'll show you guys what it is. Okay, and guys, this is called the tea drill, right? The tea drill. Okay, so Masinda, Rex, and, uh, and Nikash, all I want you guys to do is here, Masinda, I'm going to start with the ball. Let's show everyone, but let's walk it through, okay, of what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to roll the ball out to Masinda. Masinda is going to attack the ball. She's going to underarm throw to hit that stump. Okay, but a bit harder. You need to try to hit it hard. Rex is going to back up. He's going to shy or throw at that wicket. Good. Nikash is backing up. And he's going to throw it over the stumps to me. All right, that's all we're doing. Okay, guys, the most important thing here is we, we don't want to try and hit the stumps 20 million times. The most important thing is what? The most important thing is the basics, guys. Remember what we did in previous episodes? How we collect the ball, how we throw, and the other thing is it's a team game here. Right, so we need to communicate. We need to encourage everyone. If someone hits the stumps, we need to say, well done. Okay, ready guys? I don't feel the energy, are we ready? Woo! Okay, <laughs> let's go. Masinde, attack the ball and throw it underarm. Good, but remember it needs to be faster, faster, faster. Hit Rex. Here we go, Nikash. Yes, well done. Good. Let's go, Masinda. You, uh, we need to be awake on that cone, eh? Okay, as soon as I release the ball, you need to attack it. Attack it. Throw hard underarm. Good, well done. Rex, it's your job to pick the ball up. Let's hit the stump. Yeah, well done. And you throw it in. Okay. Guys, remember, remember without throwing, try and get it up over the stump so it makes it easy for the fielder to catch it. Okay, or you bounce it way short of the stump. Okay, let's go, one more energy. Let's go, Masinda. Attack the ball. Good, attack. Yes, hit the stump. Yes, Nikash. Better, good job. Let's go, let's try hit. Masinda, two hands, two hands, two, well done. Here we go. Good, Rex. Sorry. That's okay. Remember. Good job. So let's rotate. If we hit the stumps, we just change positions. Okay. I want to see more energy now. Okay, guys. Okay, let's go. Attack it. Underarm. Masinda, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hit that stump. Well done. Yes, Rex. Good job. Good throw. Let's go again. Yes. Masinda, two hands. Let's go. Yes, good catch, Rex. Okay, good throw. Let's go again. Let's go. Yes, Masinda. Yes, Rex. Well done. Let's swap. So if we hit one more time, that's a good sign. That means everyone has, has been in a different position. Okay, Rex, let's go. Ready? Yeah. Uh, you on the cone here? Yeah? Okay, attack it. Attack it. Hit, hit. Well done. Let's go, let's go. We need to be awake. Masinda, let's go. Throw it to me. Well done. Okay, guys, remember Masinda as well. Nikash, if, if, if Rex hits, hits the stump like that, we need to be aware of the deflections. That means we need to be switched on. Masinda, are you, are you listening? So if the ball is here, Nikash is going to pick it up. Are you, are you backing up? You need to move in line with Nikash. So move in line with me. Go move that way. Now if I throw the ball, now you're backing up the ball correctly. Okay? If you have to stay there and if he throws, the ball's going to go past you. Okay, so just look at where the ball is, where Nikash is, and then you, we move, okay? So guys, one more minute, let's go high intensity. There, good, good. Masinda, what do we do? Good, better. Well done, throw it in. Well done, much better. Let's go, two more tries. Hit. The other way. Let's go. Well done, good efforts. One more. Rex, I don't want you picking the ball up, aiming slowly. Pick up throw. Okay, let's go. Pick up throw. So there we go, that's better. 
Good, well done. Yes, Masinda. Good job. Well done, guys. Give me a high five. Masinda, run in. Very good, very good. Okay, guys, and what we can also do, well done, is that if you want to test your ball skills, catching skills, you can change it to catchers if you want. All right, and still try and hit the stumps. Well done, guys. Good job. So guys, as promised, our last exercise is a game. Okay, so it's going to be very fun. It's called the tip and run game. And it's also known as a striking game. So guys, this is how we play the game. I've got my two fielders, Nikash and Rex. I'm going to be the bowler. I'm going to throw the ball underarm. And Masinda is the striker. So she's going to be hitting the ball. And the whole point of this game is to see how many runs Masinda can get. Remember, the game is called tip and run. Okay, so every time Masinda touches the ball with the bat, she is forced to run. And where is she running to, Masinda? You're going to run there. You're going to tap the bat down. You don't have to touch it with your hand. Tap the bat down and get ready to bat again. Yeah. Okay. So if you hit this... Yes, I'll Alex. Out. Yes. So also, so Masinda is going to run. She needs to make it back in time until I get the ball and I throw it again. Okay, the ways Masinda can get out is run out and court. And if you miss the ball, two times. Ready, Masinda? Guys, you ready? Okay, let's have some fun. Okay, let's go. Tip and run. Yes, Nikash. Well done. Hope you're counting your score. That's one run, eh? I'll leave it, it's fine. Watch the ball, watch the ball. That's okay, we'll give you one more, one more try. Give you one more try, let's go. Okay, Masinda, done. That's three strikes. Masinda got one run, Nikash, it's your turn. And then Masinda, you can go there. Well done, Masinda. Okay, fielders, let's be alert, all right? I wanna see us taking all the catches. Okay, and let's go. Yes, yes. Yes, Rex. Yeah, I'm going to throw the ball, right? Yo, Masinda. Throw it to me. If he's not ready, he's not ready. Yes, Masinda. Let's go. Come on, you have to run. Come, Rex. We have to get Nikash out. Come on. Yes, that's one miss. One more miss to go. I heard it. I heard it. So you have to run. You have to run. You have to run. Thank you. Next batter. Okay, guys, if you saw what Nikash was doing, he was trying to get as many runs as possible. All right. But also don't lose focus on holding the bat correctly. Okay, we can't be holding the bat like this. Like this, we need to hold it in a good position. Okay. Ready, Rex? Yes, sir. So, how many runs did you get? I think it was about six or seven. Okay, Rex, ready? Masinda, you ready? Throw, Masinda. Well done, good throw. That's one miss. Okay, one more miss left. Okay, so Nikash won that one. Very well done, guys. We're going to go one more round. Masinda, let's go. Now, guys, now we've got the hang of playing this game. Masinda, I'm going to give you a quick tip, right? It's not about how hard you hit the ball. If you touch the ball there, you can run two times. Because by the time he gets there, you know you can make two runs. You don't have to hit it too hard. Let's go. Yes, Rex. Yeah, well done. Okay, Masinda, that's fine. It's okay. Good shot. 
Watch the ball, watch the ball. Okay, no, it's okay. Carry on. Remember now, when you're hitting the ball, right, hold the bat like this. That's how we hold the bat. When the ball's coming, this hand goes to the ball. This hand, your left hand. This hand just follows. So this hand follows the ball, okay? That's all we're doing. And just keep watching the ball. Yes, run. Good job, at least you got to run. Guys, I can't show you. <laughs> There's no encouragement. Run, run, run. Are you going to run too? Are you going to? Yes, just drop it, drop it, drop it. <laughs> Let's go again. Okay, well done. Okay, how many runs was that, Masinda? Four, five, five eight. Okay, eight. Next is Nikash. Let's go. Good job, Masinda. Okay, so I know Nikash's game plan already. So I want my fielders. Masinda, I want you to stand a bit closer. Come closer. Come closer, Rex. There we go. Yes, Rex. Yes, Rex. Well done. Masinda, let's go. Is he going to run too? Yeah, well done. How many runs is that? Four. Okay, I'll give you one more try. <laughs> well done, Swap. You didn't expect the slow ball. <laughs> Just keep watching the ball, guys. It's fine, Rex shot. Thank you. Okay, Rex is the last guy to bat. Let's see if we can get him out very easy. Fielders, are you ready? Yes, yes Mikash. He's He can't run two here. Mikash, yes. Have to get him out. <laughs> Go, Masinda. Go, Masinda. How many is he running? Nikash, see if he's taking any short runs. Good, Masinda. Well done. How many is that? One. Oh, yes. Okay, so who won that one? Rex. Rex. Okay, guys, that was very good. What did we learn from today, guys, from this game? What did we learn? Masinda, what did we learn? Um, we learned teamwork. Yes, teamwork, communication. And, and we don't always have to go for the glory shot. <laughs> All right, let's play to our strength. So guys, this was a fantastic game. You can play with your brothers and? Agility. And agility, yes. And remember, we can play with our brothers, sisters, friends at home or at school. This is very, very fun. Okay, guys, thanks so much. And we'll see you soon. Thanks everybody for joining us today in our striking and fielding session. I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun. But guys, before I go, please don't forget the challenge for today is for you to tell us which is your favorite striking game. Is it games like your certain sports like baseball, uh, cricket, and so on? Let us know um, and send that to our WhatsApp line. Thanks everyone and I'll see you soon. Back to you, Norman. Thank you, Teacher Sahil. Thank you, kids. I hope you enjoyed playing your striking or fielding games and that you understand the context of each one of them and that how they relate to the broader conversation that we've had around physical education and the type of games and how they can be expressed in different words but mean the same thing depending on the context, depending on the intention of the teacher, depending on the objective that you're supposed to be trying to achieve within your lesson. So I want you to be able to understand those words could mean various things, but and as long as you understand why you're doing it, how you're doing it, and what, what you are meant to achieve at the end of it, that's the important thing for us. Please send us a video of you doing today's challenge, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much.